I gotta think about some sort of a uh, little sketch. Try to you know, think about where I want things placed. That sun is going down right here. So I'm just gonna try to wing this a little bit, but still kind of, you know, get a, an idea. Or normally I do like a little, a little sketch, try to, you know, mm -hmm. think about where I want things placed. That's not it. Half the time with that though, just honestly, you need to boost up around anyway, a lot of times. And even if you got a good sketch of that, you probably change it. Move stuff around on your sketch. The first thing I'm gonna do is definitely go for the, the purpley blue yeah. mountains. The big pine tree there. That's a yeah. nice balance. A real general idea what I want. Right, so then I'm gonna kinda you don't wanna center those tracks. Yeah, that's that's a big part I think is the composition is what I I'd try to go for that first. Maybe just soften as much as you can at the beginning. You can always pick up a hard edge again or something if you want. You're not going to paint exactly what's out there. And if it turns out at the end, it's like you've made the right decisions along the way. That made it a good painting. Because a lot of times, they suck. It's just, you know, so, so, yeah, so it's not people that think they go out, you go out every time and get a plein air painting. And, you know, it just doesn't happen. That's not reality. And you're lucky if you kind of figure things out. So, now the snowfield, there's a lot of light down there. And I know that that white is too, not just too strong for what's going on out there. But there's so much paint on this, I figure I can come back in and just, you know. Definitely want your light in one direction, but I'm seeing a lot of light on that tree right there. You want directional light. the light on that right now. The light on top of a mountain is always good. When you put light like this on top of a mountain, it's like creating like a, a that rising, like that light just over the mountain. And it gives it a feel more of distance. When we have a blue sky, they start entering a, more of an orangey yellow. And then uh, what happens with that is Kind of graze it out of it too. It's just got to be softer, right? It can't be such hard edges. 